All right, so welcome to the last episode of the series. In the previous videos, what we did is we created this to-do list application. Uh, so the goal of this series was to build a CRUD application where CRUD stands for create, a read, update, and delete. So we have uh, finished two tasks till now. We have been able to create a new task and we have also been able to read new tasks. And we show these here. So the next task would be to update and delete. So in this video, we will be covering we will be covering these two things. Okay, so I will be starting with the edit functionality. So how it works is usually when we tap on a task, it should take us to a separate screen where we should be able to modify the data that we have there. For example, in this case, we have the title and then we also have the date. So we should be able to modify those two things. And when we hit save, the changes should, should be reflected. This task should be updated and it should also reflect in this list. So let's start by creating a new screen. Let's head over to our first, let's under view, let's create a new view controller. Coco touch glass. Next, we will call it edit task view controller. Click on next, select create. And now we have our view controller. Let's remove these default stubs. Now let's head over to the main dot storyboard file. Okay. So we had this add task view controller. So we're going to make another view controller here. Let's drop it here. This will essentially have the same layout as this. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in here. Zero. Let's make it 30. Let's make it so that it uh, stays below the safe area. It stays inside the safe area, that is. So top space 2. Let's change this constraint to safe area instead of super view. And it will be 0. Let's change this label to edit task. And then we have the name. We have the deadline. We also have the save button. Okay. Alright, so then let's click on this view controller. Select the select this tab. It's the identity inspector uh, tab, and under in the class text field, what you have to put is you have to put the name of the edit task view controller which you just created. I'll give this as a storyboard ID as well. Now it should be good to go. Now I need to link these things to our uh, view controller Swift file. So first I'll be creating which is a UI lib, sorry it's a UI text field. There will be an action which is Save button. Let's go to the main dot storyboard file to link this. So in order to open this menu, which I just did, we need to right click on this uh, edit task view controller, this thing. Okay, so. I right click and it opens. That's the way you do it. So now date picker, name, save button, touch up inside. And that should do it. Let's head back. Hmm. Okay. So in here, we need to add another thing which is cell for add. So now we need to have some sort of mechanism to know that uh, when we 
so the idea is that when we tap on a cell in the, in the stable view it should take us to the edit, edit uh, task view controller okay and in that view controller the name text field and the date picker should be prefilled with the data of the current task right so in order to do this what we can do is we can simply pass this task to the edit task view controller so let's create a variable here called task it should be of type task let's keep it as an op optional itself so now when we click on this cell uh, the default delegate for this the default method for this will be uh, how we access it is that we can select you can use the did select row at this method of the table view delegate so this will give us the index path of the cell which is tapped accordingly we can so now what we need to do is when we tap on the cell we have to go to the edit screen so let's create the edit screen vc equals self dot storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier to be same as edit task view controller so let's copy this paste it here navigation controller dot push controller vc and make it true and then and before pushing this we need to do is we need to set the task as the current task so which is this one now when we land on the screen uh what we do is in view will appear this method we can set the uh can set the task data we can prefill the data then here name dot text equals my task dot name and date picker dot date equals my task dot time okay so let's run this once all, all right so we have the list of tasks we select this task it takes us to the edit screen and here as you can see the name is test one the deadline is march 6 2022 11 or 6 pm that was let's click on test two it says test two and it's same it's the same thing so let's add a new task let's call it test three let's give it a separate deadline uh say it has a deadline of march 25th 5 5 pm let's save it now we have test three and we click on this it, sh it says test three and it shows march 25 5 pm also let's test the save button so now it does nothing it, it should just print saving when we click on this it says saving so it's working so let's continue now let's implement the actual editing functionality so that the data gets saved to our, our realm local storage okay so let's see how we will be creating the edit functionality what i will do is uh, the task which we want to edit I will simply delete that task and I will create a new task with the same thing. Uh, this is because I was not able to find any specific API in Realm that uh, could specifically change values inside a database. So essentially the next thing which we can do is we can use this approach. But if you're aware of any other uh, ways where that, that we can do to achieve the same thing, then you can let me know. Okay, so let's start. First, I've created this function uh, called edit task. With this will take the old task, which will be a task object and also I'll be passing the updated task which will also be a task object and like always we'll be using a completion handler hmm. okay so like we did let's start by calling realm begin right and we'll be ending by calling realm commit right okay so first what we do is like I mentioned we will be deleting this delete task and we simply add the old task the I need the new task sorry add updated task let's put a comment here delete the old task 
updated task okay so let's head over to our edit task view controller here when we press click on the save button what we should do is we need we need an instance sorry we need shared instance let's create uh, then we will call edit task so the old task was this task and the new task self dot task and the new task will be let's create a new task with the name it's going to be name dot text and the time is going to be date picker dot date since this can return a null value uh, we need to place an optional here we need to place a default value i'm giving it uh, an empty string okay so once this is done we can add pass this we can pass this new task here and completion handler will be that we can just print this task updated successfully and we can uh, pop this screen from the navigation controller all right so let's try this so now that we have this uh, edit functionality implemented let's also implement the delete functionality which is going to be let's create the delete task function in this case it is simple enough in this case we will need the task index because we are also going to be editing the value which is here so we can pass the task as well as the task index and the completion handler okay so we'll just copy this thing paste it here we'll delete this task and we'll also let's remove it from our uh, this task list that we have task dot remove remove at index task index okay and i forgot this one thing we need to also call the completion handler at the end of this uh, these functions like we did for the other functions so let's stop this and build this once again yeah so now suppose i click on test 3 i will name it test 4 let's save it and it got updated okay and i forgot to add the delete button let's do that as well let's head over to add task view controller let's create a new button for delete delete button and it'll be sent by the sender which can be any any anything let's print deleting and here we can also do one thing we can pass the value for the index which will be an integer so when we come to this screen we will also get the value of the index so we see dot index equals index path dot row okay so so when we delete this what we have to do is we have to call vm dot delete task task is going to be our self dot task uh, task index is going to be self dot index and the completion handler is also going to be the same thing it will be similar let's copy this task deleted successfully and we simply pop this okay now let's put this uh, create this button on the screen let's head over to our main dot storyboard file let's duplicate this button we will call it 
Okay, when we have duplicated this button, we need to delete the touch action. Now, now, now let's link the touch action here. Okay, now this thing, let's call this delete. Fill will be of color. Let's make it a color red so that it, okay. And that should do it. Let's try this. Let's click on this. It is still coming as a blue color. Anyway, let's, okay. So this button works, but the color has not changed. I think I need to change the background color as well. So let's try that once again. Yeah. Okay. So let's edit this thing. Let's call it test three. Let's change the date as well. I'll make it 7th March. Let's save it. It's test three, it's 7th March. Let's delete this and it's deleted. Okay. All right. So this marks the end of this video series. We have performed all the tasks which we were going to cover in this from the beginning. We have uh, finished all the CRUD applications. That is create, read, update and delete. This is a working to do application. The UI needs a bit more work, but we can change that as we wish. Okay, so I hope you found this video series helpful and thanks for watching.